Hey YouTube, Mama Louie here. I wanted to let you know about an auction I have tonight. Um, it's a co-auction with Bella's dad, E.K. Phil, and we both have a lot of goodies we want to bring for, for you. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a preview here and show you some of the items I personally have. And then I also have a Google uh, spreadsheet that I'll put out there. Um, I'll link it to the video so y'all can go check that out. It'll be at 5.30 Eastern Time, 4.30 Central over on Bella's dad's channel. And we have both have a lot of goodies for you. I personally have a lot of 0 .99, 0 .999 fine silver uh, rounds. Um, I have a lot of constitutional silver that I'm looking to get rid of. Just trying to, on my side, I'm just trying to raise some money with being out of work for my part-time job. Just to have a little bit of extra cash. And I've got a lot of things I can unload here. So hope we see you there. But for now, here's a little sneak preview of what you have to um, purchase tonight. Hope to see you all there. Oh, and anybody that purchases, you get a three, three one gram bars as a bonus for anybody that purchases. So hope to see you there. Thanks. Okay. First up, I wanted to show you my lots of tokens. I was lucky enough to purchase a really cool book full of all these really amazing tokens going back to the 1920s. So I kind of have been going through and looking them up, um, seeing their values and seeing what I want to part with and what I want to keep. So here's just a few that I'm going to part with. The first lot is 1969 Shell Oil Men in Space tokens. And they're just like an aluminum token, very lightweight. They're not silver, but they document the um, Gemini missions and the Apollo missions, two of each. So I have four of those that will be sold together as one lot. Then I have a 1930s Empire State Statue of Liberty and Empire State Building. That was the Statue of Liberty, obviously. And this is a metal. Um, I believe it's brass from the 30s. Then this one is super cool. And I think a lot of people might like this one. This is a 1920s um, real life drug good luck coin. So the front of it has kind of like a Buddha guy there. Um, it says, uh, let's see, progressive order of Rexalites, members coin, and then it has on the back, um, I am a Rexalite because my drugstore needs, be they few or more, I can always buy best at the Rexall store. And it has kind of that, it looks like the Nazi symbol on top, but actually that used to be a symbol for good luck. So before the Nazis used it, it was a symbol of good luck. So that is a really, really cool coin. So that will be sold as one lot. Then I have some coins or some tokens here of a 1950 Panama Pacific Exposition. This is an Eastside Beer winner, gold medal winner. And... Eastside gold medal beer winner, whatever this beer was. And then there's a Union Pacific. Again, this is aluminum. Um, it's a sample token from 1934. Here is a 1940 Union Pacific Road of the Challenges aluminum token, lucky piece. I have a Chevron, you can see the Chevron Seminole Travel Club keychain. And a uni 76 Union, which is a gas station. 19, or 1890 to 1965 diamond anniversary um, token. And this one is, again, I think aluminum. So there's all my tokens. Next, I will move on to my coins. Okay, moving on to coins. My first one is I'm going to have a roll of 20, 90%, 1964 JFK halves. Pretty much all different conditions, but there's some really nice shiny ones in there. They're not clean. They're just in really good shape. So that's going to be lot number one of the, those. I have a same thing in 40 percenters. I have 20 um, random 1940 percent, 19, 1940, 40 percent silver, 19, uh, I think it's 1963 or 65 to 69. Then we have lot number three. I have the 57 Flying Eagle. I would say it's probably in good shape, not the best shape, one cent. My next lot is a lot of Indian pennies. And there are one, two, three, 
four, five, at least seven all together here between 1890 and going all the way up to, they start at 1890, go 1893, 99, go up to 97, or I'm sorry, 07. Then I have a lot of Barber Dimes, of which I'll show. The first one is, I have 1897, then I have 01, 4, 6, 7, 8, 12, 15, and 16. So there's a lot of Barber Dimes for you. I have this interesting... Republic of Liberia $2,020 silver coin. So this is in the original case with the 0.99 in silver. It is 20 grams and it is a proof quality coin. And that's kind of a party one. Sorry, my coins all fell down. Next up, I have a 1923 piece dollar, pretty decent shape. And then I have a lot of two piece dollars, a 23 and a 23 S. They're both pretty toned. Let's just see those, sorry for the reflection. I've got some more. <laughs> 0.999, I've got a half ounce Canadian First Special Service Forces, um, half ounce round. I have a Republic of Combo 2017 Gorilla Back. Um, this one is really cool. I've kind of held on to these for quite a while, but they're really pretty. That's all background. It's like the trees in the background. Congo silver back. It's a one ounce tray silver. Republic of Congo. And any scratches you see are on the case, not the coin. Like I said, I have a lot of silver. And then I have a 2018 Korea. This is a Zeeson Kanis 0.999 fine silver round. Republic of South Korea, and this is 2018. He also has a friend named Chiwu Chiu Wang. He's a 0.999 fine silver, one ounce as well. 2018, Republic of Korea, not Canada. I have a 2019 ASE. 0.199. 99 fine silver. Again, this has been in the case since I bought it, so very nice shape. I have a 1976S Type 1 Bold 40% silver proof nickel. Proof uh, Ike. And I did weigh it to make sure it was 40% silver. So. I have a clad set of Ellis Island, a dollar and half dollar Liberty coins. So there's the dollar and then there's the half dollar coin. The half dollar is still in the foil. Or not foil, the original wrap. I have a set of four walking Liberties. I have a two, um, I have a 1918, a 1918S, a 1943, and a 1943S. So those will be sold as a lot. And I have one more lot of Indian Head pennies, starting with 1918, 1906, 901, 7, 2, and 3. So that'll be sold as another lot. Then I have uh, two rolls. You can buy both or one each of 1961D BU1 cent, and they're still wrapped. They've never been out of this, and it is taped and sealed. So these are 1961D BU. And last but not least, I have, I took the time to go through all my Canadian pennies and I sorted them by year. So I created these rolls. Um, there are no doubles in them. So like this one has 1957 to 2001 straight and 0306 and 09. These are mixed dates between 1932 and 94. 1940 to 2011. It's not straight. It's just a mixture, but there's not duplicates. So there's only one of each year. 
These are 1947 to 2011. And these again are mixed dates. I don't know where they start and end, but I just know that they are all mixed dates. There's no duplicates. So that's it, folks. Come see me and Bella's dad, aka Phil, tonight at 5.30 Eastern time. We will be having a fun auction and I will get the um, spreadsheet added to this link as well. Hope to see you there. Thanks.